Do you need to make sophisticated hair cutouts but can't afford to or don't want to pay a cent? Well, in this video, we're going to be demonstrating one app that can do the job and is totally free. Now, you might be thinking, isn't this just a trivial task which can be done by most photo editors? What's the big deal? In truth, the task is not as easy as it sounds. To illustrate, let's try to make a hair cutout using Pixlr which is another popular online photo editor. I'll use its premium AI cutout tool. As you can see, the tool does not handle the tough hair edges well at all. Numerous errors appear in the selection. Let's try and see whether we can refine the selection. While Pixlr doesn't have a refined brush, it does have a magic cutout tool which might do the job. As you can see though, no matter what choice of settings, Magic Cutout cannot produce an adequate result. Here is another example of Pixlr having trouble perfectly selecting hair. Next, let's try another tool, Adobe Photoshop Express, which is also not free. I'll select the subject. As you can see, it's yet another disappointing result. Also, just like Pixlr, Photoshop Express has no tools to refine the mask and handle the intricate hair details. So as those two examples demonstrate, despite what many may think, it's not just a simple problem to create a hair cutout. And try as you may with any other apps, most would probably not fare any better. Keeping that in mind, let's try to solve the problem with Photopy. As I'll be using the free tier, I won't be relying on select subject. Although that would have been a lot easier and my preferred method of performing the task. Instead, I'll be relying on only the free tools with the following workflow. First, I'll make an initial selection with the object selection tool. I'll click the tool. With the mode set to add, I'll make a selection by dragging over the subject. I'll continue dragging until the entire subject is covered. There, a good initial selection. Next, I'll refine the selection by clicking the Refine Edge button. By the way, if you are on the free tier, you might be noticing the Select Subject button still appearing on the toolbar. Just to be clear, Select Subject is not free. It can only be used once every four hours. So don't bother relying on it if you're not upgrading to premium. Moving on, Notice that clicking Refine Edge brings us to the Refine Edge window. This interface has two views, the left view where editing is performed and the right view where the output is previewed. To refine a selection, you simply paint in one of three colors, white on areas that you want included in the selection, black on areas you want excluded from the selection, and gray on borders and edges. Looking at the current selection, I've clearly missed some areas. No problem, I'll pick white. I'll paint on the area. As you can see, the misselection has been fixed. Next, let's fix imprecisely selected hair edges. I'll change the color to gray, I'll paint on the hair's edges. And just like that, the difficult hair edges have been properly selected. That's actually looking very good. Before exiting, I'll make sure to change the drop down option to Raster Mask, which will automatically create a mask from the selection. I'll click OK. 
There, we're back to viewing the layers and you can see the updated mask has been created. Not a bad result. Far better than the results from the previous apps. Just to show that this performance is no fluke, let's perform the same steps with a different image. Once again, I'll make an initial selection with Object Select. I'll click on Refine Edge. Unfortunately, there are more errors than the previous example. No problem, let's refine it. I'll pick the gray color. I'll drag over the borders. I'll remove the incorrectly selected areas. To do that, I'll switch to the black color. I'll paint on the errors. There, that's looking good. Let's exit Refine Edge. Unfortunately, there are still some background remnants in the hair's edges. That's pretty common when making hair cutouts as discussed in previous videos. Let's deal with that by reducing the saturation. I'll create a hue saturation adjustment layer. I'll reduce the saturation. I'll paint black on the mask to bring back the original result. I'll press X on the keyboard to switch the selected color from black to white. Finally, with a low opacity brush, I'll paint white on the edges to desaturate just the edges. And there you go, a pretty sophisticated result without the ugly hair remnants, all for free. As you can see, it's even better than the paid versions. So I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know if you know of any other free Photoshop alternatives that can perform sophisticated hair cutouts just as PhotoP can do. Would love to check out those as well. Write it down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. And if you like this content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to help keep the videos coming. Until the next video, I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye for now.